but it does not mean because within the spine you have joints that are hypomobile and you can have joints that are hypermobile. So you have ones that move a lot and ones that don't move very much. So the ones, which one gives you pain? The ones that probably move more, okay, because they're compensating for ones that don't move. So we typically treat the ones that are painful, really. Yeah, but it's so true, isn't it? Because patients say, well, do it today, you treat it. Yeah, rather than treating the you know, cause, we treat the symptoms. So what we're trying to do is look for joints that are relatively fixated. And the one above it might be the painful one, or below it. So we treat above and below. Like I always say to people, problem with your spine, check the hips. Hip stiff, lower back. Mobilize the hips, lower back pain reduces. Mm. Yeah, rather than just rubbing and manipulating the spine. Now, imagine that we have a fixation between C7 and T1 on the right side. So we've got an ERS to the right. What we're going to do is think about the chest to draw. We're going to pull until we feel a bind. So we are going to slowly flex until we feel a resistance, a bind here. Okay? Not a stretch where a patient says it feels a good stretch. <laughs> where you just feel a, a resistance from there. Now, if that facet is fixed in extension, rotation, side bending to the right, then obviously we want to flex, rotate, and side bend to the left to open the fixed closed facet to the right. Mm -hmm. So that's our goal, is to go in the opposite motion. So if we're stuck that way, we want to flex that way to open. We're not gonna, this is not cavitation, this is just like an MET. So we're gonna go down to a point where we look, you can see, look, where it binds here, there. So that's where it starts to move. So I'm gonna use my finger. So C7 is here, T1, so I'm gonna lock T1 with my finger. I can hold it. Technically, this is called caudally, down towards the cord equina. This is called cephalic or cephala towards the brain here. So then we are going to lock, well, I have a finger, you can use either hand if you want to, depending on pressure. So I'm going to lock my finger, and I'm going to apply corded pressure. So I'm going to lock T1, so I'm only mobilizing C7 off T1. Can you visualize? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I'm only mobilizing that vertebra. If I want to, I can add in a bit of rotation and side bending to the left to en en enhance the opening to the right from there. If I want to do an MET from here, it's easy, because I ask my patient to push your head back, please. So she's pushing back the 10, 9, or 20% effort. 20% effort, 10 seconds, relax, breathe in. And as she breathes out, lock, and then we just mobilize off that fixed point. So we are trying to do like an advanced MET to open the facet of C7 on T1. Yeah? Okay? If it's on this side, I can use the neck, it's no problem to do this, but you find it easier to maybe turn the patient around. Now, T spine. Let's say we've got one between T6 and T7 on the right, again, for the demonstration. Interlock your fingers behind your neck, please. Like this, elbows <coughs> forward. <coughs> Arm under, okay? So I'm going, to, I'm going to extend, and I'm going to start to flex until I feel the bind. Let me do it. So I'm going to flex it down to that level here, there, I feel it. And then from this position, I, I can simply lock if I want to. It's harder now with a finger, but I might use my healer hand now to lock in, and I might just mobilize... C6 off C7 here, okay? If I want to, I can add in a rotation, and I could add in a side bend into the left to open. I could just mobilize here, couldn't I? And it's quite a nice way of just mobilizing the spine to do this. An MET from here, I'm locked around her. Pull your arm back, so she is just extending. 10, 9, 8. Relax, breathe in. And as she breathes out, lock with your heel hand, flex. And I can rotate just to mobilize open that facet. Sometimes it clicks, but it's not really a manipulative technique. It's a mobilizing, not a thrust from there. There's nothing wrong with mobilizing into extension, okay? Okay, so I can just mobilize my patient, heal a hand, okay? Feels very soft. Okay, so I can mobilize. <laughs> Think about how you treated the T-spine yesterday. Most patients would be prone, yeah, lying on a couch, and then we treat the soft tissues. From here, I can side bend. Think about facets. Opening on the right, closing on the left, yeah? Okay, my hand, I can just change where I want to go. Yeah, so from there. I can heal the hand, I can add in rotation. Rotations. From there. So we are adding in rotation, side bending, extension. Okay, and then flexion. Yeah, maybe we can add in the comp compound movements. So you can see I can add in all of them. 
One last thing. Can you throw me a pillow, Alex? Men, women, for obvious reasons. Pillow between, to separate the space between you and them. Pillow, both arms of my wallet. So from here, come in. This is quite nice <laughs> because it's nice for over the t-shirt rather than on the skin. Okay, so from there, spinous process is, so you can feel the SPs. I can come into the gully on the muscles in here. From there, I can look at my fingers. Okay, I can just tilt my fingers a little bit. So I come in, but as I'm doing this, I am squatted, squatting position, and then I'm going to literally almost stand and then extend, yeah? Flex, fingers, traction. Okay, so mobilizing into extension, flexion, okay? Yeah. From there, and again. From there, I can also add in side shift. That sets open and closing. And I can also use my fingers here, and then I can rotate the tension of the tissues. But with the t-shirt, you can grip through. And you can mobilize. Phone to the other side, arms over that way. And you can mobilize this way. Yep. Okay, remember the word you're in is physical therapy. You know, you can't say that word anymore. Okay. Um, so, a manual therapy. So, it is quite tiring. Yeah, as such. That's why I, I tend to choose the like the person to do these techniques. Rather than the 20 strong rugby players at the back. Yeah, go on. Can you trick me? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I like my back. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's true. Okay, so you can see what I did there. Yeah, so I can just mobilize, flexion, extension. We can do an MET, yeah, that sort of thing. So, because if I'm really honest, okay, most of you, apart from the, you know, the, the osteoblasts, et cetera, will probably do more than mobilizing. Because when it comes to the manipulation, you'll understand what I mean in about 10 minutes, okay? It's not that easy to get what I'm showing you. And it takes time to practice. Whereas moves, it's easy, okay? Because you are just mobilizing the tissue and you don't need extra insurance for that. Yeah, have a go please, and then I'll take this. Yes,